Okay, Michelle, thanks. Well, the end of the school year brings shouts of joy from kids of all ages for about two weeks. And then the kids start looking for things to do, places to go, and people to see. Oh, yeah. Without the structure of school and their normal social context, many teens can start feeling isolated and disconnected during the summer months. So Dr. West joins us to talk about how parents can work with kids to improve the summer social life and when not to so much. Uh are there certain teens that uh, have a harder time uh, than others when it comes to social downtime during the summer, you think? Yeah, absolutely. You, you've got uh, two personality constructs that sort of go together, extroversion and shyness. And when you have those two, you have kids who are more unhappy in the summer. The extroverted kids who really want to get out and see people, but who maybe lack social skills or a social group, they're the ones that are at biggest risk in the summer. Uh, when shouldn't parents be worried? Yeah, parents like to worry. <laughs> right. That's what we do. You yeah, know that. Exactly. And one of the problems we run into is a parent will see the child uh, not going out and doing things and get all upset about that and think the child is, uh, you know, isolated when they're just simply more introverted. And some kids just aren't that excited. So the rule of thumb is if your child isn't worried about their time spent with friends and such in the summer, the parent probably shouldn't be. There's a few exceptions, but that's the general rule. And for those kids who might be having a hard time, they're feeling lonely, they're not getting invited out by their other friends and doing, uh, doing things, how can we help our kids get through that situation? Yeah, so there's really about two options. They're, they're somewhat limited, but there's a couple of options. If you have extroverted kids who want to make new friends but maybe don't have that connection or the social skills, trying to find a different summer social group is a good idea. The, most communities, and certainly in the metro, have... Uh, programs, summer theater, uh, dance, sports uh, camps, and and they don't they're not all super competitive. Of course, this county and my own are known for their competitive club mm -hmm. soccer and volleyball. Mm -hmm. You can get recreational sports too, so they're not quite as competitive. Trying to get kids into a different group, and the other option is is for introverted kids, just try to find. Uh, some individualized activities for them. Some of those kids really enjoy the library. Uh, they may be playing video games there, not reading a book, but they like that. So look for that tennis, golf, individual sports. Try to match those things to the kid's personality preference. Okay, sounds good. And is there still a role for family as a social support for teens? Yeah, it's a limited role because teens are by their design differentiating from family. But if you can find some more high interest uh, activities for kids and really include them in how those are decided, family can do camping or museums or uh, amusement parks or fun, things that work well for family, um, kids will find and look forward to. But the kids really have to have buy-in for that. Okay, and then this one might be a little tough for parents, but it is okay for parents to just help their kids realize that there's going to be times when things don't work out socially, socially for them. Dr. West, kids are going to be bored sometimes, yeah. right? We are terrible in our society about this because we, we want to be good parents and we want to, to meet the needs of our children, but it's so easy to go way over the line and become like, the you know, this is the helicopter parent where people are flying around all the time trying to give their child a trophy because they woke up in the morning. My child You're not did going to Worlds that. of Fun every day <laughs> exactly. of the summer, okay? Right. Exactly. And so there's a, a role for, for reward recognition for kids, but we sometimes overdo it and we also try to fix every problem they have mm -hmm. and so there's a balance between saying this is kind of how life is and trying to help them make it better yeah, yeah. Right, well good advice. thanks for helping us trying to find that balance it's so, so oh it's really tricky as a parent you bet yeah. well we're going to stick around and do some facebook interaction oh, about good. this uh, i think mark and i are so if folks want to so. do facebook with us good. get on the page and we'll answer all your questions brilliantly I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, check in with sure. uh, check in with a good doctor. And if you'd like to contact Dr. Wes Crenshaw, you can find him on Twitter at Wes Crenshaw PhD, or you can visit his website at drwes.com. Rob.